Welcome to Physics 151 Online. I'm Lisa Knight and I'll be your instructor this semester. I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself to you, tell you a little bit about who I am and why I love teaching uh, physics, and also to introduce you to the course and the course structure and the course uh, procedures and policies. So I have a master's in teaching from UNC and a master's in instructional design from ECU. I've been teaching at the community college for 28 years. Um, I did actually 22 years. I started out as a high school instructor and um, I really, really love what I do here at the college. I know that each of you are balancing work and family responsibilities and school. And that is why I love the community college student. You guys are resilient. You guys are awesome. And I really, really enjoy working with you. This semester, you'll be taking an algebra-based first semester of physics. You'll be learning about motion and forces and energy and momentum, circular motion and gravitation. This is a, a, a class that requires, um, at the minimum, the first semester pre-calculus, and it is a transferable class to universities. And it does have a lab. It's a five contact hour class. And I won't lie, it does require a lot of, of attention and diligence. Um, this course builds on itself. If you get behind in one module, it is really hard to keep up. So you really want to hit the road running and plan on spending 15 to 25 hours a week studying this content. I have tried to structure the class in an easy to use navigation and be able to find lots of resources and ways for you to practice what you're learning. So let's talk about the course. This course is being delivered in a new version of Blackboard called Ultra. When you log into it, you will see that it looks a little bit different than what you may be used to. If you want to get to the announcements, you click on the announcements button or the gradebook button or the calendar button up here across the top. And if you want to go into the content, you, you enter right where all the content is. Each section is a unit or a module and they all have a very similar structure. Notice that most of the modules are two weeks long and they have two due dates in them. So we'll be talking about that here in a minute. The very first thing you want to do is to get oriented to the course. And that is to click on the start here button. And you have some assignments and things that you need to get done by that due date. This will officially enroll you in the course. So you simply click on the overview and you just go through each page, making sure that you read and download your syllabus. There's a formula sheet that you can use for your reference and that you'll have access to on the exam. There's course expectations and the uh, important dates. And you will be registering for our online homework web assign. Um, you do not have to pay for that, but you, uh, you just click here and you can enter and register directly via this link. And your student fees also pay for registration for Pivot, but you will have to contact the bookstore to get your access code emailed to you. So you will need an access code in order to register for Pivot. So once you click on this link, you'll need that access code. And then finally, um, there's resources and library resources, etc. And then the, finally, the, the most important thing is for you to do this enrollment verification assignment. So notice that the way this works is you, um, in order to start it, you click on start attempt, and then you'll go through and answer each of the questions. And once you've answered everything, the submit button here in the bottom will actually um, become active and you can submit it but you have to answer all of your questions in order to submit then once you've done that i would like you to introduce yourself we will be working in groups this semester for some of our assignments and i want you to um, i want to be able to group you according to your interest or your degree so please introduce yourself in the introductions forum
And then you'll notice that you need to hit the road running with module one, which is our introduction to physics. And it goes over the math requirements and the units and the quantities that we set, that we um, study in this class. So you'll want to do that. And um, there's only one due date for this. So um, you will have um, a module introduction that tells you what you're learning and what to study. And then it tells you what to complete for assignments. And you usually have um, three assignments in your modules and we'll go over those. So you'll want to make sure that you do all of these things um, by the due date for module one. And now let's look at a more typical module. So let's take module three, for example. Module three has two due dates. Uh, the first due date is the end of the first week of the module and it is your initial post date for your forum and the second due date is the due date for all the assignments in your module so when you click on a module you quickly go to the introduction um, and this will tell you what to what to study so in this particular module you have a reading you have some videos you're going to watch you have um supplemental resources if you need them and i've included a review practice game and i've included a check your understanding in a concept quiz and these practice games and concept quizzes are not graded okay they are not graded they are here for you to um to use to review the material and then there will be a lab three instruction video so that that lab three instruction video um, is very important because it's going to show you how to collect the data and how to analyze it. So it's very important for you to watch that. And then um, you'll have your homework. In this case, you're going to have a worksheet to do, a problem solving forum with an initial post due on to 12 and um, a lab to do. The labs will be done inside of Pivot and you won't have to turn anything in. So let's just take a look at the modules. You got your lecture videos, it tells you which ones to watch, and you just click on that and it takes you to the playlist. And then you have your chapter three in OpenStax. And here is, you click on this to open up your tic-tac-toe game, your projectile tic-tac-toe game. Here's some supplemental resources. So other videos that you can watch and then a concept quiz. So the concept quizzes are just for you to practice what you've learned. You can go in here. There's usually 10 to uh, 20, 10 to 20 questions. It's not graded and you just go through and answer the questions um, and you can redo this as many times as you want. And then once you've answered it, you can then, um, complete it. If you want to get out of it for some reason without saving any of your answers, you click the X button here. And then after that, you have your lab three video overview. Okay, so it does a <coughs> takes you directly, excuse me, to that video. And you have a link to your lab. You do not turn anything in here. Okay, but you do um um, you do go into Pivot and you complete it there. So the deal is if you get your lab done by the initial post date of the module, then I will look at that lab and I will give you feedback. And if you need to redo it, I will allow you to redo it during the second week. I want you to do well on your labs. I want you to learn from your labs. They're learning experiences. And so um, I really encourage you to try to do your lab during the first week. And then you'll have a worksheet to do. And so when you see assignments like this, you click on them and then you click on start attempt. And this is where you get the, the worksheet. It's a Google Doc and you will um, open that up and you will um, download it, complete it. You'll show all your work. You'll show, uh, make sure your units are in kilograms, meters and seconds. You'll round your answers to three significant digits and you will upload the solution, the, the completed document as a PDF, JPEG or ping file or docx file. These are the things that I can access and you'll just do that by just simply clicking on this box and attaching it here. And then once you've attached something, the submit button will become active and it will be black and you can then submit it. And then finally, you have um, 
and let me just double check, you will have a a forum, a problem solving forum. And so that problem solving forum will put you in groups and each group will be assigned a um, a sample problem. And that sample problem will be used, uh, it, you'll need to solve that problem and post it in your group discussion uh, by that initial due date. And then I will go through and post the answers to those for you. And this should help you prepare for your homework worksheet. And then finally, in every module, you have a reflection. And this is an extra credit assignment and allows you to earn points towards your exam. Significantly, your exam is 30% of the grade. It will be um, a face-to-face -face proctored exam at the Civic Center in Lee County. If you do not live in Lee County or Chatham or Harnett counties, you can uh, apply for an off-site tutor, uh, excuse me, an off-site proctor, and that information is in the exam folder, but you will need to do that so that you can get that approved and set up for the exam. Exam will be um, on the date that I've mentioned, but in every module, you, if you complete this short reflection where you just tell me how things are going, if you're having any challenges, if you need any help, if you would like to meet sometime, um, this is a great opportunity for you to learn extra credit and to tell me what's going on. And I really would encourage you to do it. That's basically the structure of each of the modules. Um, if you have any questions throughout the semester, please um, contact me. I will be taking um, attendance on all of the scheduled due dates. Okay, including the initial post dates. And as after I take attendance and I grade anything that's due, then I will make be posting announcements. And those announcements are located right here. They should go to your CCCC email as well. So please make sure that you um, are checking the announcements and your email frequently so that you don't get behind. A lot of times I'll send out additional extra credit opportunities in those emails uh, because I will go over something people were having problems with and I'll make a little short video that um, if you watch it and answer a question about it, you'll get additional extra credit on your exam. Remember that exam is mandatory. It is 30% of your grade and if you do not take it, you will automatically fail the course. I hope you have a wonderful semester. I'm looking forward to working with you and um, our office hours will be Fridays from 10 to 11 and you can reach it here at the virtual office link. If you can't meet on that day, contact me via email. I'll be glad to help you.